Hello there everyone, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel, Thumbs Up, Full of Paint. I've been experimenting on some palettes um, on my tiles. Um, and I found one, I found a couple that I like, but I'm just going to do the one. But I just want to show you a few my testers. So here's one I tested here. This has a nice shimmer to it. Um, this is um, Baltic Amber, a new color called Black Ruby with um, black and a white um, cell activator. Not the black cell activator. The black is a color, but the white is on top of it. And this is another one. This is called, um, this is Mother Blues. And this has Midnight Shadow, a new color called, uh, what's the new color called? Oh, I'm getting um, Northern Lights, I believe. I have to make sure, but it is very beautiful and very iridescent. Like it's blue here. When you turn it here, you don't see the blue. See a little light gray area, but then you turn it, you get a nice rich blue area. So it's a nice color shift there. So that's a new Prism Pour color as well. I have to look at it and I will let you know before the video is out. Okay, and the last one I did is the one I'm going to uh, do a little bit more tonight, but I'm gonna try to do a little bit better. This is the Baltic Amber, the Midnight Shadow, the black ruby, and a little bit of white. This is on a black background. So I'm gonna do a black background series. Um, one I did last night. Um, I will be doing the, posting the video for it, but the video that I made was a little bit choppy because of the audio. It couldn't come through my Bluetooth properly. So I will be showing this, but this piece right here, it dried perfectly. But when the, when you saw the wet results, which you will see once it gets resin, there's so much shimmer in this thing, it's amazing. And those prism pour colors there, it looks like it dried a little bit dark here. Once I put the um, wet resin on it, it's gonna brighten all this back up. It's gonna hold all this sparkle all over the place too. So that was it there, part of my, um, the beginning of my dark background series. So this is part two on this 10 by 10 canvas. And that's what I'm gonna be working on tonight. And I'm gonna use a cell activator and instead of the blue black, I decided to go with black for this particular one. This is um, Lucas Paints with um, a US Floetrol that's thinned with water by half, which means that it's two parts Floetrol, one part water. Then I mix it together and then I add the um, uh, paint to it maybe a three to one or four to one ratio, I don't know, as long as the consistency is right. That's the important thing. Now this right here is gonna be one of my first cards I lay down. This is called Midnight Shadow. I'm bringing a spoon up so you can really see the color. Let me see if I can get enough, if the focus is right, okay. But that's the bright color there on it. Then this the one this the one I'm referring to. Let me look at this color right now. It's called Morning Light. Morning Light, not Northern Sky. Morning Light. Okay. So this is what I mean when I say it's got the grayish looking appearance. When you tilt it, you see that blue interference. Look at that. That is so beautiful. You see where it, the part up here where it dried on the um, stir a little bit? But look at how that shifts in color. Boom, 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 
Do you see me? No, you don't. Now you see me? No, you don't. <laughs> this is so wonderful. I love this color. Now you have, and that's one of the new um, iridescent silks that is part of the prism pour. Actually, all of my colors tonight are prism pour colors. This is a new color called Black Ruby. Look at that. Does that warm your soul or what? Look at that. It should. And of course, if you like some of these colors, this is one of my favorites, Baltic Amber. Um, if you like these colors, feel free to use my coupon code that's uh, to get 20% off on everything on the Color Art website, when you go to www.colorart.com and use my code SHELLROCKART1121. I will have it listed in the description box um, so you can screenshot it so that you can use it later on if you choose to. This is the French silk. And his, this has a, a bit of a gold uh, interference to it. All right, and then this reminds you of like an old, like a like a vintage cloth that you would find in like um, Victorian kind of area era. So I like the, it's a proper name, French silk. I love that, and of course this is my black cell activator from Lucas that I explained to you with the flow troll. All right. My pillow is Sherwin Williams, even though this is in a glidden premium jug. Because it's easier to pour for me because I got my little spout. But this is um, glidden, not glidden premium. This is actually Sherwin Williams uh, black. And I liked it because it was already black and I didn't have to have it mixed. It just comes black. It's a little more expensive, but Hey, sometimes you gotta spend the money to get your worth out of it. All right, folks, I scraped it in the middle and I'm gonna try this again. So let me put a little bit more pillow down, just a tad bit. See, I don't wanna waste a lot of paint, so that's one thing you can do. You can fold it up in the middle like an envelope and then you could um, bring it all back to the middle. So, I'm going to spin it a little bit just to get some of it spread out. And I'm going to bring some of this to the corners to get a little bit more spread out. And if I thin down my pillow, maybe I don't lose as much when I give it the final spin. Like the final spin on um, Wheel of Fortune. Say it with me, y'all. Wheel of Fortune. I know I'm a goofball. But anyway, um, let me pull you back to the middle because you slid over a little bit. There you go. All right. So we're going to go back again. Midnight Shadow. Drizzly, drizzly, drizzly. Same colors. Same way I laid them out. Because those cells were popping. And I don't mind getting myself messy because that's all part of the fun. Believe it or not, I will paint the back of my canvas if somebody asks me to, but generally I won't even tape it off. Because I think that the little spots and everything else as you're creating also adds to the authenticity of the actual work, I think. Now, everybody has their own opinion about that, and they're entitled to it. If you don't want to buy one of our pieces because it has some spots on the back, 
You're entitled to that choice. But I think that's also part of the sick of the whole experience of fresh authenticity as opposed to what you would buy at a Marshalls or at a Ross or a TJ Maxx or something like that. That's a print that's painted, that's printed over a textured canvas. And people say, oh, this is the real deal. This is original. And it's not. So at least you know it's original when you get it from me. But that's for this reason. Uh, Baltic Amber. I'm kind of cross hatching it too. I'm going one direction, then I'm going to go another direction with another color. I said before, I'm gonna keep the with this color here. I'm gonna keep it more solid in the middle to get put it right over under the cell activator. Now instead of using um like I like I dumped it the last time, which I think I put too much cell activator on one. We thought I wanted more. I didn't want that much. I got a little heavy handed with it. So I'm going to use a spoon. One of my little dollar store spoons that I have forever. So let's get two two spoonfuls, like two scoops of raisin bran. Yes, I went there with the raisin bran. So uh, hot fan, cool temperature. See where it moves. Okay. Yes, yes, give that some time. You see how those nice round circles are popping up? Nice and pretty. That's what I want. That's what we refer to as jelly beans. That's what we refer to as jewel-like cells. They're multicolored, some people call them peacock cells. Um, on the acrylic pores for beginning group, we call those jelly beans. You can call it what you want. I call it like I see it. Very happy. So, the one thing I've said before with the, like I said, with the Aussie Floetrol and the U.S. Floetrol mix, even though this is reacting pretty quickly, the Aussie Floetrol acts faster. But this is cause for a little bit of patience and you end up with some wonderful, wonderful results if you just give it a chance to work. That's all I ask is just give it a try, give it a chance to work. And it's definitely a nice thing to um, work with. You see how the cells are slowly growing as the density of the paint is sinking and pulling down into the surface and it's pushing those cells up to the surface. So the heavy paint, the cell activator pushes down while the other colors push up and they even out on the surface. And that's how the cells are made. It's all about paint density, folks. Not consistency, density. Consistency is different. Density is like a penny can be small and thin, 
but it'll sink right down into the rock. While styrofoam can be thick, but it's not dense, so it'll float on top. So that's how density works. So I'm going to put some swirly cues in some of the uh, areas, but you see how take your time, letting it do its thing. Now those nice big cells are popping up. Someone asked me about the big cells. And he said, I wonder how she makes the big cells. Because on those tiles, I thought at first that was a bigger piece and I realized it was only tiles. So I was wondering how she made those big cells. And out of all the things I paid attention to, I paid attention to the word she. <laughs> yes, surprisingly enough, I'm not a she. My wife will attest to that. A lot of cell action here, not much here, but it does seem like it uh, really makes a difference trying to um, put swirlies in this part here because it really doesn't matter. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Nothing really matters. Uh-oh, I broke up my Freddie Mercury there. This is such a sharp ball right here. And there's so much interest up here, but nothing's going on here. That's what kind of bothers me. That's what I'm going to do. A transfer swipe. Yes. No. this going on. Ah, what do I do? What do I do, folks? What do I do? Leave it. I said this was going to be part of my dark series of blooms. I'm not going to change it up. So here we go. I'm going to spin this puppy out. And I'm going to try to pull some of, that, some of it that way. So I'm going to push this kind of uh, in this direction. I'm going to try to bring the sensor closer to here. And it might make those cells pull in that direction a little bit, but that's okay. All right. A little bit more. time. And I think what I'm going to do with this one is perfect. I think what I'm going to do with this one, I might pull some, some little dots or something like that. I don't know. Or well, I might just leave it alone. You know what? No, I'm not going to leave it on. I can't. Sorry, but I can't. So what I'm going to do is just for embellishment. So this little messed up area right here is what I'm bothered about. It's not quite as beautiful as I like. So I'm going to take some of this red, since it's in red here. And I'm going to take it and drop it here. I'm going to pull a little design, like a little line through there.
Okay. Maybe a little bit, little line of this through here. And another one through here. Yeah, you can embellish if you like. If you find that certain parts of it is not interesting because all the beautiful color went on the other side. Like you use the edge of your knife or your spreader like a paintbrush. Sorry for such a long video, folks, but I'm sure that once it's all done, you probably would have wanted to see this part too. And of course, I got to balance it with some of this Baltic Amber. And I'll put that right along this little area here. Do it up, right, folks? All right, I think that'll work. It's almost like little hairs. That part I might edit out because the video I think is long enough. Well, it's not that bad. It's only 17 minutes. That's good. So, there you have it, folks. I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. And hopefully, you, you like what I created. Okay? Okay, folks. I had to turn the light off so I don't have but so much glare. I just want to show, you, show this to you just with the light of the phone so you can see all the different colors and the shimmer that is in this piece look at that baltic amber up there you can see the midnight shadow the morning light that's that blue and when it's not when the light's not shining on that blue 
the reflection is just gray. So it's almost like a color shifting. There's that gold and that French silk. Look at that, all those shimmery colors in there. So it's very sparkly, very blingy, if you want to call it that. Um, but these colors blended very well. It went well together. That's the whole piece. Now I'm going to turn the light on so I get to see it. Well, I guess it didn't make much of a difference. You can still see the piece anyway. But look at those colors. I love the way that turned out. I'm very happy with it. So thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. And have a great and wonderful and safe evening. Happy pouring. Good night.